All right, we're here in Studio One. On a Sunday morning. I'm feeling something a little chill, so let's go for... I don't know, maybe strings? I wish they had, like, a full section, not just separate instruments. But let's do, like, a pizzicato violin. And we in the, are in the coffee shop, so there's a lot of background noise, so just... I know. I know. So, that being said, and my coffee not quite kicking in yet, let's... Let's do something like that. Oh my gosh, baby's crying. Two, three, four. We're going slow tempo, 75. And then why don't we bring in a nice uh, cello full. And we'll do... Um, Not sure where to go here. <laughs> All right, now let's bring in something different. Let's go to um, my type bass. Come on, computer. Good boy. Poor girl. Maybe this is in the key of D. I don't even know. I, th I thought it was A minor, but we'll see. Don't 
Okay. I think it's in the key of D. That would explain why the cello did not sound good. But let's keep rolling with it. Have patience, we're getting there, we're getting there. Let's bring in some drums. Enough of these shenanigans. Um, let's see if there's a good loop. Let's go under sound sets, under... Let's try hip-hop drums. I don't know. It actually fits pretty good, but... I'm not a hip-hop fan, but... But it fits too good, so let's just bring it in. Let's go into the mixer and just put a limiter on to see how hard I'm crushing this thing here. I always bring the limiter threshold to zero. It used to be default at that and then they changed it. way off I don't even know what I was thinking there so let's do um, we got F A C and it shouldn't go to a G it should go to a G minor but we that's cool though Bring in an E piano, roads clean, and just like really mangle it with some modulation and distortion. So let's just go. Modulation. Let's distort it all the way up. And let's just hear the sounds. And let's just bring use these chords actually.
just run an arpeggiator through it. Let's bring it out to um, nine and let's pop out some notes. Let's see what, how this sounds. Solo. I think it's actually pretty cool. So uh, let's do our thing now. Let's organize drums up here. Bass second, red. Everything else can stay the same. So uh, I think it would be cool to intro the song with just this and the drums maybe. this guy and let's put in some effects on this one like a reverb delay. there we go let's see how it goes I don't know, I think it's a kind of cool way to start off a song. This might be all we do today, just to get the juices flowing. Let's hear it one more time. bounce these when I want to edit something like a, just a part and I don't feel like messing with the original track I like to bounce it and then I have like full um, rain over this track without messing anything up I did previously so <clears throat> like for example why don't I um, why don't I split this at the grid I think that'll be nifty uh, and let's see how this sounds. Cool. So let's just uh, duplicate that down. And maybe put some cool effects on it, like a phaser. And let's throw in our. Um, If I pull in a room reverb here, I got And then I decide to put it in send. Can I do that? There we go. Let's see how that sounds. Oh, cool. I think it's pretty cool. And then let's... Let us use the arranger track to just like 
make things easy. Intro, verse, bridge. This way we can just chuck another verse in here. Super easy. Um, and I would like to use the drums from the intro here. That's here from the beginning. All right, let's use a cool feature in Studio One called Event Effects. All I want to do is just EQ this part of the drum track so I can just put effects on that specific event. It's pretty awesome. So I'm going to enable it and I'm just going to chuck an EQ in there. And then let's pull out the lows. Pretty cool, right? That is event effects in two seconds. I don't know what render is, but that would be cool. Let me click it. Ah, neat. So no, that rendered that track like that, so it's not using the CPU on that effect anymore. I'm down. All right, let's play from my tar start right here. Let's actually use the drums from the intro now that we have the effects on. Maybe that'd be cool. I'm definitely smelling some perfume in here. Don't know who is wearing that. All right, let's do a bridge. Actually, put it on a new track. Um, that's fine. So, why don't we do something just as an ending here? Um, let's do this cello. And let's. <clears throat> what can we do here? Alright, I got an idea. Let's make a new track. And let's bring in sample one. And let's take this nicely bounced thinger and just chuck it, chuck it in sample one. And then we can get rid of this whole track now. And now we got sample one track down here. So let's draw in an event. And and draw in. A final chord.
That's wacko, but I like it. So let's just put tons of reverb on it. And then fade it out. So we'll actually bounce it. But let's stretch out the tail so when we bounce it, it keeps everything. And then just do a fade out. All right, let's try that for the ending. All right, that's the ending. Let's hear the whole song. And we'll call it a day. All right, very cool. All right, that's all we're going to do for today. Thanks for hanging out for the coffee shop session. See you next time.